Hello, this is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. And I know many of you uh, saw the publicity yesterday on the 50 states attorneys generals uh, with the uh, District of Columbia making a deal with the six largest lenders for $25 billion based on improper foreclosures, robo signing, uh, improper handling of loans. And that's great news. I think it's, it's very important that if there has been wrongdoing that something is done about it. It's supposed to get up about $45 billion will be a, the total once they get some other lenders into the process. Uh, people that uh, were foreclosed on, many people are getting a $2,000 check. I know that's not a lot of money, but again, uh, this is about making sure this doesn't happen again, that robo-signing doesn't happen again. Uh, also, another thing is some people will be available for principal reduction. The problem is, is the way that they wrote this up, about 80% of Americans are not eligible for this. And that's a shame. And this is one of the reasons that I want to go into some changes that just happened in an old program. In fact, the oldest program of the Obama administration on foreclosures, which is HAMP, which is Home Affordable Modification Program. This was coming out of the TARP funds that were done by Bush. And what it was designed to do is kind of be a bridge over troubled water for troubled homeowners. Uh, but there were a lot of restrictions. And if you've seen any publicity on this, it's, well, very few homeowners were really helped by it. But one thing that's just recently happened, in fact, I, I went on the, the HAMP.gov site uh, to see uh, if this was on there yet, and it hasn't been uploaded, but I've got my little cheat sheet here, and I want to kind of talk to you about this. And these are changes that were made as of January 27, 2012. First of all, the eligibility sign-up has been increased by one year. So instead of ending at the end of this year, it goes to the end of 2013. So if you do qualify for this, then you've got an extra year. Now, another thing that really hurt a lot of people were the debt ratios. Now, a lot of people lost their jobs and had to take part-time work, couldn't reduce debt, and maybe the debt was way too high for them to qualify for HAMP. Now they've expanded on that, and so it allows for a greater amount of debt ratio for you to qualify for the loan. And this is really, really good. The third thing is, and this is significant I know for me and a lot of people that I deal with, is that it now encompasses rental property. So before it had to be a primary residence, now it is a situation that if you have a rental property, either rented at this time or not rented, you are now possibly qualifying for a loan modification. Uh, now there's another part of this, and I'm not sure that the rental applies to this, but I believe that it does which is a balance reduction uh, of uh, uh, reduction of principal. Uh, in other words, for every dollar that a lender would reduce your principal, then HAMP was going uh, to match it with some more funds. And so in the old program, uh, HAMP would pay between six and 21 cents on the dollar uh, for every dollar that was reduced in principal. Now that goes from 18 cents at the lowest to 63 cents for every dollar that's done. So this allows for a greater amount of principal reduction. So whereas on the settlement yesterday, you had a $200,000 loan and uh, you know it was worth $200,000, now it's worth one fifty, dollars and so you can get a principal reduction of one fifty. dollars uh, pretty good chance that you're not gonna be able to qualify on this new program. But on a HAMP program, that is more possible now. And that's very, very important. Now, last but not least, and this is a problem with the settlement yesterday, but it's now not a problem with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac that if you have a backed Fannie or Freddie loan, you now qualify for this program, not just some subprime loan that you got hooked into. So Fannie and Freddie is a big deal uh, because that encompasses a lot of loans. So in summary, we've increased the time you can apply. The debt ratio has increased. Rental property is now included. Uh, there is a greater amount of reduction of principal that will be matched by the HAMP funds. And also that if you have a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac back loan, you now qualify. This is great news, folks. This is going to help a lot of people. And I really want you to get proactive on this because this is going to uh, bring a lot of people in the program, but there are limited funds. I don't think this is going to last uh, another year possibly. So. If you are a financially distressed homeowner in the Oklahoma City market and you need help, and one of the things that you may want to do is stay in that home, if it makes sense to stay in your home, contact us because we are going to give you some resources that you can use to see if you can qualify for this. Now, 
Obviously, you've been seeing a lot of my, or hopefully you have, a lot of my videos on short sales. And we do short sales, but I'm very happy to help people stay in their home if that is the best thing for you. If it's something that you don't qualify for, of course, short sale is an option. We want to give you both options and see what's best for you. So you can contact me at joe at joeprior.com or you can go to our short sale and foreclosure website, avoidforeclosureoklahoma.com, get some up-to-date information. You'll see my phone number on there where you can contact me. But this is very, very important that if you are a financially distressed homeowner, that you act now either to do a short sale or hopefully do a loan modification where you can stay in your home. This is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.